Hey guys, what's going on? It's Slacker here, coming to you with episode 20 of our Kansas Rebuild. We're going to start this episode out on kind of a bad note. Our best middle linebacker, our favorite player that we wanted to go after, ends up committing to Alabama straight after week one. So we're already out about 500 points from last week. We're already out probably my number one person to go after. He ends up signing with Alabama. It's not really a surprise as he was, you know, the top linebacker. And Alabama was his number one school. I think we were sixth at that point. But it's time to move on. It's time to look at other recruits, going through other middle linebackers, trying to figure out if we can try to snag one. We're going to go ahead and go through the rest of our team, see how many points we kind of have left in the end, see what we want to do. Jason Gay receiving that 500 points, going up pretty well. Gonna add some more to Spurlock. I think he's going to be better than what they show him at. Kind of in one of those catch 22s, I like having wide receivers, but we only really need one or two great ones. I mean, we have Pearson, who is a senior this year, but last year he was the only receiver that really did anything. And this year so far, he's really the only one that did anything in week one as well. So that's kind of something to think about. We don't really need to spend a lot of points on top wide receivers. We could kind of make wide receivers great. Pearson isn't even that great of a receiver ratings wise, but just the way we use him makes him pretty darn good. And he's super fast, which makes it super difficult for that defense. Continue to go through, trying to add a few points, looking at the possibilities of getting these recruits. Zach Cooper, probably not going to get him, so might as well not waste those points on him and put him on someone else like Logan. Also need to worry about the punter. It looks like I would have to spend a lot of points for that punter, so I'm not sure it's going to be worth it or not. I'm not sure where to spend these last 25 points, to be honest. So we are ready for this week's game. It is a top 25 clash. We are number 23. Missouri is 17. If you don't know anything about Missouri and Kansas, they are border rivals. Way back when the Bushwhackers and the Jayhawks went together to fight in the border war. And that's kind of what brought this on. They do play for the marching drum, which is pretty cool. I know some play for trophies, the marching drum. They have a actual big physical drum that has Missouri and Kansas both on it. So it's pretty cool that we can win something like that. And it's a pretty big deal. I mean, this, when Missouri was in the Big 12, this was a huge showdown each and every year. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Kansas and Missouri found themselves on opposite sides during the Civil War. That might have gotten rectified. The rivalry never will. The Jayhawks and the Tigers get set to hook up for the border showdown. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. It's called the Border War, and man, what a war it's been. These two have been battling it out since 1891, and since 1935, the winner's taken home the marching band drum. Starting out, Kansas going to get the ball first, heaps back, going to find McKay over the middle, gets leveled, but he's going to get 15 yards and the first down to keep those chains moving. Trying to strike quick because we know Missouri can put up a lot of points on their offense. 
We do turn the ball over finally after a punt on fourth down. And as I said, here comes Missouri with a first down of their own 15 yards to the right side for Jimmy Hunt. Third and 12, Missouri trying to get the first down, trying to keep their first live first drive going. They're going to find Dorio Green Beckham, who, like yes, it. he is in the NFL now. Catches it, gets the first down. Missouri looking good on their first drive. Here comes their quarterback. The quarterback's going to keep. He's going to break a few tackles, and he's going to be finally dragged down at the 15-yard line after a 34-yard run. Broken tackles. Defense just not making good tackles, and that is going to allow the quarterback to score on a 16-yard running play. Just weaving in and out of defenders. Defenders not being able to tackle. Cost. Kansas, their first touchdown given up, and Missouri goes up 7-0 to, to, to start the game. Deeps back, trying to make a good drive of his own. He's going to find Pearson. Pearson going to make a juke-looking move. That's going to be a touchdown. Kansas tying it up quickly, 7-7, to with a 65-yard passing touchdown to Pearson. Woo. Not sure what that was exactly, but it worked. Got him in the end zone. Pearson with his first touchdown of the game. Missouri going to throw an interception here. User pick. Just a really bad, kind of lazy throw. And Kevin Short comes up with it. Giving Kansas the ball back with good field position. He's back to throw. Has a wide open McKay. He's going to catch it. Another 11 yards and a first down before getting hammered by the safety. Third and three. Going to find Mundine. Is that going to be enough for the first down? It is a four-yard reception. Enough for the first down. Kansas continuing to move on the drive. Here's the beloved option. Heap's going to find Miller. Miller's going to get to the outside. It Will it be a touchdown? It will. Darian Miller, 39-yard rushing touchdown. That's going to be a touchdown for Kansas, putting him up 14 to seven. Well, on the interception, there's still a whole lot of football to be played today. Coming back on the defensive side, going to give up a 14-yard pass to the left side. Missouri able to just kind of throw wherever they want it. This time, intercepted Sindish just sitting there. I don't know if the quarterback just didn't see him or the throw was offline, but he just sat there. Apparently just did not see him. Safety with the interception. Sindish having another good start to the year. Bourbon gonna get a handoff up the middle. Gonna make defenders miss. First down there. Second and goal, trying to punch it in the end zone. Heaps back. Gonna end up throwing to Pearson. That's gonna be a four yard touchdown pass. Tony Pearson. Number two touchdown pass of the day. Kansas up 21 to seven. Missouri on their next drive. Plenty of time. Finally throws it to White. White's gonna get a first down. 13 yards. Missouri looking to score back quickly here. Gonna pitch it to Josie. Josie gonna make a guy miss. He's going to get a first down there as well. Got to watch their quarterback. We know their quarterback can run, stopping him. But he is injured on the play. The running back, Josie, injured. Out for several plays. Huge part of their offense. But they are going to throw as well. John Williams had a big day today right there. That was his third reception already. And Josie going to finish the drive off with a rushing touchdown of his own. Twenty-one fourteen. Missouri kicks off. You know I'm showing you a kickoff for a reason. Let's see what Mills can do. He's to the twenty. At the thirty. Across midfield, and they push him out. Huge gain down to the, our own forty-five yard line. Mills with a huge gain. Pearson with another touchdown. That's going to be his number three. Going to match his number on the back of his jersey. Tony Pearson having a huge day. Three. Passing He's touchdowns to three in touchdown the first half. Let's go, Tony Pearson. 
not working out. It's not giving them enough. 28 14 Missouri is going to need to keep scoring to try to stay up with that Jayhawk offense right now. This is going to help. Josie to the left side, breaking a few tackles. Finally gets pushed out of bounds after a 33 yard run. Missouri not able to get in the end zone, but they will attempt a field goal here. It is good. Now we'll make the score 17 to 28. I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 28-17, Kansas. KU on fourth and seven. Gonna punt it here. Not able to get anything going off offensive drive, but a great punt here. Oh, a beautiful punt. We actually get him on negative one yards rushing on the punt return. Great field goal pos or field position for our defense. But John Williams looking to get him out of that end zone area. Catch there by Williams. Another catch here by White. Missouri is just throwing at will. Can't really stop it unless they throw an interception. Not really getting anything on the quarterback right now, so he just stands back there and keeps launching. John Williams, another 21-yard gain there. Coming up, 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Got a score here. Here's going to be Darius White on the right side. That's 14 yards and first down. Second and five. Green Beckham going to get a touchdown here. 13 yards. Wide open, beats the defender off the line. Wide open, Missouri making it a 24-28 game. 18 seconds left in the second quarter. The kick, you know something good's about to happen. Let's see what Mills does on this one. He's to the 20, across the 30, the 50. Mills pushed out after a 77-yard return. Nine seconds left, setting Kansas up big here. Let's see what happens on this play. Going to be wide open, Pearson, number four of the day. That's going to tie the school record, and we're only in the first half. Having a great day, Tony Pearson, making everything happen on the offensive side right now. Starting off the third quarter, Miles coming up with a big interception. That is a linebacker on a running back. It's the third pick of the day for that Kansas defense. They're coming up big in the turnover department, which is great because that Missouri offense is firing on all cylinders. So the only thing stopping drives right now are turnovers. Keeps back. He's going to fight Tony Pearson again. 19-yard touchdown. Five passing touchdowns for Heaps. Five touchdown catches for Tony Pearson. And that will set a new school record of five passing touchdowns. Congratulations, Tony Pearson. Tony Pearson on the right side. He's going to make it number six. Except there's a penalty. Gonna be clipping. I saw it when it happened. I was hoping they wouldn't call it. Here it is in slow mo. Push in the back. Didn't even need to happen, but we could not get it in the end zone after that. Attempt a field goal from 50 and not able to hit it. So not only does Tony Pearson not get his sixth touchdown of the game, but we don't get any points out of that drive. Missouri coming back on the other side. John Williams again the with a catch on the left side. First down. Missouri. Burke Stresser back to John Williams again. Taking a hit from the safety. Still holds on. Missouri going for a field goal here. This one's going to be about a 51 yarder. We weren't able to hit our 50 yarder. But the Missouri will hit it. Making the score 27 to 42. Staying in the game. Burke Stresser going to find the left side, going to gain nine yards on this keeper. Missouri still moving the ball at will. Three turnovers in the game. That's the only way we seem to be able to stop him. Sendish running right by the quarterback. Hunt's going to catch it. That's going to be a touchdown. Can't believe we didn't sack the quarterback. We ran right by him twice. Missouri making his pay. 34 to 42. This game is getting close. The wide receiver made this play. 
Well, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open. 34-42, Kansas looking to put more points on the board. Start of the fourth quarter. Bourbon going to get it up the middle. Going to be wide open, and he runs into his own guy. Runs into the back of his lineman. Otherwise, he would have been gone for a rushing touchdown of his own. Watch this replay. His guy gets out front, which is great, but he runs right into him. Knocks him down. Bourbon's not going to get the touchdown, but Mills is. Touchdown, Albert Mills. That touchdown is going to put us up 15 points in the third quarter. Keeps trying to waste time. Going to throw a pick of his own to Sherrill's. We are able to bring him down right away. But a pick by that Missouri defense. Trying to get a first down there. Just overthrows this receiver. Missouri makes him pay. Three minutes left. Missouri trying to get points on the board again. They have to score here to even stand a chance. Darius White on the right side. 17 yard catch there. Williams on the left side, going to get a catch there for a first down. Continuing to move the sticks. Burke Stresser back. Going to be fourth down, fourth and seven. Not able to catch the ball. That's going to be a turnover, and that will most likely be the end of the game. Giving us the ball up by 15 points. Missouri not looking like they're going to do anything with it. KU going to squat on the ball. Gonna win the border showdown 49 to 34. Tony Pearson, obviously your player of the game. 11 receptions, 201 yards, and five pass catching touchdowns. A huge day, a record setting day for Tony Pearson. Going over the stats, Jake Heaps. 19 of 32, 59% there. Five passing touchdowns. We know where they all went. Rushing wise, Brandon Bourbon with a big day, 109 yards. And Albert Mills, a big day of his own, 113 yards. And that rushing touchdown. Darian Miller at the bottom with that one yard or that one rush for 39 yards and a touchdown. Good day for him. Great day for Kansas on rushing. Also, Tony Pearson with that record setting day, 11 receptions. 201 yards five touchdowns for tony pearson huge day going over the defensive side miles having the great day on him seven solo tackles also that interception he had at the beginning of the game and that is going to be the players going over the to the team total offense goes to kansas first downs go to kansas by one as well i think the biggest place is going to be that turnover margin Missouri with the three turnovers, Kansas with that one turnover, but that one turnover was not a costly one. It didn't really do anything for Missouri. It was kind of late in the game. So at that point, the game was pretty much over. So the one turnover did not hurt Kansas. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are still enjoying this. We are in season two. We're starting out two and zero, oh, trying to bring in some top recruits to Kansas. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any other NCAA football videos. Till next time, slacker out.